mass is said from red funke. After mass and before our gathering in the basement, we have a little conference by Father Nobrega. Father Nobrega is director of vocation of our diocese and exorcist. And he opens today with us his Lenten retreat that will last until Wednesday. Every day we have a new talk and invite you to come for that. So the, we're going to stay in mass after, after, uh, after Mass to listen to his talks, his teaching. On Tuesday, on Tuesday, opens the conclave during which we are going to elect the Holy Father. And I say, we are going to elect the Holy Father. Because nothing can be done without your prayers, without your sacrifices. That means, on Tuesday, we are going to explore, ex expose the Blessed Sacrament for all day, to adore, to make preparation, to storm heaven with our prayers, to make sure that the Cardinals do what they have to do. So let's really pray. I don't come after to complain that it is not the Pope that you wanted if you didn't pray. That's always the same thing. We are always complaining that we don't have what we want. But we don't want to pray. Sunday is Passion Sunday, so there will be no class, so to speak, on Tuesday, but the talk of Father. On Easter, we have the Easter supper put by Michael here for all of those who are alone on this Sunday, which never should happen. You have also the schedule for the Holy Week. Very important to mark the calendar for that. The multiplication of bread fits very well in our Lenten series on the sacrament. Is a multiplication of bread an image of the Eucharist? I can find three reasons for that. The first one is that God cares for us, as He did for the Hebrews, as He did for His followers. He had compassion upon them, and that they need food. And he knows that we cannot make our salvation without spiritual food. He knows that we need to receive grace, to receive him through the Eucharist. And that's why he makes himself available for us. The second point that we can draw from this miracle is that Christ has power. If he has a possibility to multiply a few loaves of bread, a few fishes to feed 5,000 people and more, it is not more difficult for him to say a bowl, a piece of bread, a bowl of some drops why? This is my blood. This is my body. He showed his power. He showed that he could transform stone into bread. 
and therefore here he is. And the third point that we can draw from the multiplication of bread is the fact that God does not count his gifts. When he gives, he gives with super abundance. He gives without counting. He gives more than we need. It's always available for us. Now the question is, how do we replicate that? How do we care for each other? How do we think to feed those that we know, those that are living on our side, right here in this church? Don't look too far. What do we do? I am not talking only about material food, about our daily bread. I am talking as well about friendship, companionship, attention to each other, making sure that nobody stays alone, nobody despairs because nobody cares. The second point. God showed us his power to be present with us. How do we believe that our Lord Jesus Christ is indeed present in the Blessed Sacrament? <coughs> we know that intellectually. How do we act according to it? And just a little test, we get a question to that. How do you act in church? How do you make your reflection if only you do when you come into church? Is that just a mechanical act? Or do you really greet somebody present in church, our Lord Jesus Christ? And finally, do we use, do we make good use of this abundance of grace that God offers us? How often do we come to church to greet our Lord Jesus Christ? How often do we come to weekly Mass? Or do we just, are con to just content ourselves with our Sunday and days of obligation? Is that the only answer that we give to God? <coughs> so if you have time, do not hesitate to make time for God. Not to despise His gifts. May the Blessed Virgin Mary transform our hearts. May she sow our Lord in our souls. that we might be fed indeed by Him and then transformed into Him. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, and